Hello there, this is Earthquake. How you doing? Well, I'm quite sure you all have heard about my new manual called Escaping the Nemo's Cycle. You know, there's a lot of people out there that say, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. It's like it gets going round and round and round and round and round and round, as the old saying said, round and round and round she goes. Wherever she stops, nobody knows. God's going to help you. Like I said, this manual, you can get it on Amazon. It's a very good manual. 300, as you can see, it's very thick. 300 pages on Amazon. Only $55, that's all. Most manuals, with this information that will be inside of those other manuals, I'm telling you that what they cost as much as $150 to $300. We want to make it so everyone can afford one. Amen. Okay. I'm going to pray for you all out there that's going through type of a cycle before we end we're going to pray but first we're going to um, we're going to look at something that many people are dealing with They're dealing with all kinds of uh, marriage problems sleeping problems they're dealing with all kinds of headaches and spells of all kinds they're dealing with with uh, church problems nightmares being choked in their sleep at night, some of us walking all night long, can't sleep. We talk about all of, all of this in this manual. You've got to get your hands on this. As you see, this is volume one of 24 more volumes coming out. So we want you to look at this. This cycle, God's going to break the cycles off of you. He promised to break these cycles off of you. Drug cycles alcoholic cycles. I talk about them in here. Uh, 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 it's misery and pain and suicidal thoughts. We expose all of those things in here. All of these things. This is not something just to try to make old earthquake rich. No. I want to enrich the body of Christ. I want to help people. That's my job. If anybody knows me, knows I'm only out for souls. You gotta get your hands on this. Let's just go now into one of the subjects here. Let's just deal with with nightmares. Any of you all out there having nightmares? Raise your hand. Can't see you, but raise your hand. Tormented that night, can't sleep. Like you say, you may not be able to see it, but this talk, this chapter here, deals with nightmares. I'm gonna read some of it to you. There were horses used by God, both naturally and supernaturally, in the Bible, such as in the case of Elijah when he was taken into heaven by chariots of fire. You'll find this, get your Bibles, you'll find this in 2 Kings, 2nd chapter, 11th verse. And it says this, And it came to pass, as they still went and talked, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and of horses, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up into the whirlwind, into heaven. You see a horse and a chariot in the whirlwind when Lucifer had a rebellion in heaven against God. And he said his tail, his influence, caused a third part of the angelic creatures to follow him to the planet, including, now watch this now, including according to Revelation, the third chapter, including the chariots and the horses, a third of them also, who were used by God, also followed Lucifer down there. Now, do you know the difference between a bad dream and a nightmare? Of course, you're driving your car, you fall off a cliff. That's a bad dream. But a nightmare is an actually, it's a fallen horse, an actual horse, spirit, an evil spirit in the shape of a horse that gets in your dreams and gallop you all night long from one bad experience to the next. That's what a nightmare is. It's an actual fallen creature according to Revelation 12 chapter. And many of you all out there, you don't get sleep. I get calls from all over the world. All over the world of people say, earthquake, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I'm tormented. I got a call this evening from a, an individual way down in Florida who said his wife just constantly, she can't sleep. 
she just tormented. She can't sleep. And we prayed for her, believing that God's going to set her free. And as many of you are you're going through the cycle of sleeplessness, sleeplessness, night after night, week after week, month after month, just, you get tired. And he told me, it's a, it's a pastor, actual pastor, he said, earthquake. He said, my wife, they have her on the sleeping age. And the problem is, he said, he said, I believe my wife is getting addicted to the sleeping age. See? So you go from from being, from being, uh, I guess, having sleepless nights to now you become addicted. It's another problem. And you can't operate unless you had your, your tonic. We're going to deal with that. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to help people. You that's out there, that's, that's, that's watching it somewhere on this planet right now, you're tormented, you're going through cycles of worry and stress and all of these things, and we're going to help you through the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus, you can get sleep. Solomon said, beloved, that we're supposed to get sweet sleep every night. And you all that are out there that's not getting a sweet sleep, it's because something is tormenting you. Something is tormenting you, stealing your sleep from you. And we're going to help you tonight. We're going to help you. You're going to get off of that wild, ugly, nasty horse. We're going to show you how to anoint your house. We're going to show you how to, how to pray. Absolutely how to pray. There's a way to pray like Jesus did. He'll, uh, we'll show you all of those things. We will go into, into depth. You don't have to take volumes, thorazine, lithium. All of those things, or shoot heroin, or drink alcohol, or get a good night's sleep. You don't have to drink pofobo, all those things. And that one of the famous, famous singer took, and it took him out, unfortunately. Wish we could have got to him before he, he took that fatal dose. And many of you all out there are stuck in this cycle of sleepless nights, sleepless, can't sleep, walking, gets up, driving. Many of you driving sleep the next morning, trying to go to work. Can't seem to get a good night's sleep. Almost losing your job because when you get there, the boss is saying, "Hey, wake up! What are you doing? You can't sleep on the job." See, but your 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 employer has no idea how rough you had it the night before. See, and I'm not trying to talk about your employer. No, what I'm saying, he, if he's not there with you and your home, he does know how terrible it is. God knows. He sees you. He's concerned and he loves you. He loves you. And we're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you, and we're going to show you how to get out of that cycle. Get out of that cycle. Like I said, this is 300 pages. This is just an introduction, introduction of this. We're going to we're going to cover every part of the cycle. We're going to uncover and cover every cycle that many people are dealing with. We're going to deal with eeps. What are eeps? Those are the people that come and take over your churches and put your church, you pastors, put your church in the cycle. We're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with that Napoleon spirit that comes in your church. We're going to deal with, with, with those kind of things. We're going, to, we're going to deal with the cannibal, the cannibal spirit that's attacking people. Yeah, there's, a, there's an invisible cannibal going around. We're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with, with, with problems in your head that's, that's attacking you, your mind, your words, you're hearing voices and different things like that. We're going to deal with that, like this, this lady who's depicted here. All of these, this artwork I've drawn myself. I'm an artist too, so I've drawn these things. So we're going to, we're going to cover these things. We're going to show you how to deal with these things. We're going to deal with witchcraft and wishcraft, where people wish stuff to come on you. For no reason, just out of jealousy, we're going to deal with that. We're going to cover all of these things. We're going to, we're going to be able to, to have the, 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 the lines open through the emails, and, and even people can actually reach our office for prayer, and we'll talk to you. We will minister to you. I can't minister to a million people. I'll get it around to as many as I can, as I can but we'll get around to everyone we can. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about the boogeyman, what he really is, the waster spirit. We're going to deal with him, and and the Bible talks about the waster. We're going to deal with that. You all who can't sleep, you all who have children, 
who run down the hall every night say, Mommy, Mommy, I can't sleep. There's something in my room. We're going to explain to you what this is. I know what this is as a child. I used to do with this. I used to deal with this for 11 years. I only had two hours of sleep every night. And I'm exposing these things. I'm exposing these things so the world can see. Because Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. If your child is suffering and can't sleep at night, and say, Mommy, Mommy, I see something. We're going to show you how to deal with this in the name of Jesus. We're going to show you. There's many of you, like I said, this is the introductory, that many of you who are being choked at night. You wake up choking. <coughs> it's in the Bible. 91st Division of Psalms. It's called Terror by Night, called Power Nocturnus. We're going to deal with that. Yes, we get calls from all over the world. I'm choking. I'm choking. We're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with Bell in Isaiah 40, 6th chapter. Bell, let me tell you, to you women who are listening, Bell is a spirit that attacks women. Yes, I said it. It's an actual spirit whose job it is in the demonic realm is to go after and destroy women, especially women of color. And I'm going to deal with that. It deals with other women of other cultures also. But it, it, it attacks and it really tries its best to get on and sit on women of color to stop you and to hold you down, slow you down. We're going to expose that also. See, there's so much in here. This is just an introduction to what we're doing. And uh, we're going to deal with all of these things. We're going to deal with them. We're going to fight them. And, and we're going to expose them. We're going to deal with an, an unfaithful husband. How to help him to get right. We got this in this book, this manual. We're going to deal with, with, with what happens to you after you've been raped and sodomized and how to get out of that cycle. What happens to a person after they've been raped and sodomized. It's not a good thing. We're going to deal with the, the Seder. It's an actual spirit that comes in the house of those who backslid. Yes, backslid. People are telling you that you can smoke cigarettes and and, and commit fornication and adultery and all those things and still be a Christian, that's a lie. Don't believe that. The Bible forbids that because if you do, certain spirits will come after you. One is called the Seder. A Seder, if you can see this, a Seder is one that will come. It's in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 13. It comes and it talks about the Seder will dance in the house of the backslider. You get saved, stay saved because it's a dangerous thing to come in and out of the church. And playing with God. Don't do that. That's dangerous. We're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with it. We are going to help you. We are here. We are so happy to be back on the air. We've been gone for a while. We get many calls. People say, where are you, Earthquake? Where are you? We've been gone for a while, traveling. Now we're settled down in the studio here, as you can see, my backdrop of many of the, the places we've been around the world or what have you. We, we've been many places. And this is what this is, that's the backdrop of places that we've been, and it's been, it's been awesome for God to take us all of these places. So, like I said, this is the manual. I want everyone to get your hands on this manual, written by me in my life experience, called Escaping, Escaping the Nemos Cycle. Nemos, okay, let me explain what Nemos is. Excuse me. Nemos, military knows about Nemos, and some people in the occult knows about the Nemos site. If a military comes into your town, it takes over. You can't go like you used to go. You can't shop. You can't go to the movies. You can't go to get groceries unless that military allows you to travel. They put a curfew on you. They can tell you what you can buy, what you can wear and so on and so forth. That's a Nemoth cycle. Okay, that's what happened in the Iron Curtain, in the Bamboo Curtain back in the day, until Mr. Reagan says, Gorbachev, tear down this wall. In other words, Gorbachev, tear down this cycle that you got the people in. Okay, same thing with those that in the occult. They put hexes, spells, curses. They put all kinds of jinx and stuff on you. Many of you said you were hinged and jinxed and stuff like that. You've been put in a Nemoth cycle. Nemo stands for, N stands for notorious. Even the apostrophe, if you can see the apostrophe there, 
apostrophe is in, in this Nemo side of the apostrophe it's also a, a word it's just, not just an apostrophe to abbreviate something but in the Nemo cycle and we're going to deal with the apostrophe so you'll be able to understand and get free that something is not abbreviating your life other than the Holy Ghost Amen can I get an amen somewhere in South Africa I see my friends in South Africa say earthquake explain this so now I'm talking to my friends in South Africa who's watching this now mosque is basically it's a Latin words means more so there's something notorious and there's something in that that's abbreviated your life without God and doing more and more and more and more and God said he came to set the captives free so like I said we're going to deal with this Nemo cycle we want everyone to get this buy this get it from Amazon get you can get it from Amazon create space only $55 it's a little cheaper on Amazon because it's probably $45 or so it's worth it it's worth every penny it's worth it we're trying to help people get delivered and you get your hands on this so you can walk with me in this order it's there waiting for you okay I'm going to pray for you right now I'm going to pray because I know a lot of you are dealing with this. You say, Earthquake, can you put this book through the camera? No, I can't do it. But like I said, you get it through Amazon. and then, So you can you can go page by page. And I say turn to, to page 192. You look at it and you say, oh, okay, I'm with you, Earthquake. I'm with you. You can see for a fact that there's a young man in here who's been who's dealing. Someone put a spell on him. Now, you see all the stuff that he's dealing with? Some of you all are out there right now are dealing with all kinds of spells, all kinds of things, and they're all attacking your head. There's young men out there but put under spells by other women. Sometimes if you go to certain women's houses and they're trying to really get you and control you with Santeria, Obey, and all those kind of things, they will put stuff in your food. So you got to be careful where you eat. Yes, I said it. And who's cooking your food for you? We're going to deal with all of that. This is what happened to this man in the book right here. It was, a, it was a love triangle. We're going to deal with that. How to get out of it God's way. Amen. See, so let's pray. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, those that are out there who are suffering, that's going round and round and round and round and round. She goes, God, through all of these cycles, God, we ask you, Father, to deliver them. Jesus, you said that you paid the price that we will be free. We do have a right, but many of your people, Father, are suffering from lack of knowledge. And Isaiah 513 says, my people go into captivity, not only lack of knowledge, but they go into captivity because they have no knowledge. So God, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, as they're looking, as they're hungry, as they're all in China, they're all in Pakistan and Canada, Father, and in the Netherlands. All of those places I've been, I've been to those places, the South, South America, Father, and Africa, they're suffering with Nemo's cycles. And we ask you, God, to set them free. Give them the power of the Holy Ghost to get out of these cycles. Many of them have been married multiple times, round and round and round and round and round. God, fix this for them. And we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, stay tuned. We're going to go over, again, like I said, we're going to be going round and round and round with these things, breaking the cycle. As the cycle goes around, we're going around with it and stopping it. And God bless you. God bless you. And let's stay close together. Let's work together at this so we can help many other people. Again, get your hands on this. Get your hands on it. Amazon. Get your hands on the Nemo cycle. It's worth it's worth it. And it'll break so many things down to you. Alright. God bless.